Hi guys, and welcome back to CFOP Cubing. Today, I'm going to be doing my first F2L tricks video. The F2L tricks that I'm going to be talking about today are to solve pairs that are touching in an incorrect way. The first case is this one. The white is facing to the side, not the top or outwards, and the colors on the top here are different. The way to solve this case is to break it up and then it will be paired up. So put it in the back in a way so that you can hide the corner and not the edge. Now you're going to hide the corner and you're going to move the edge one turn away from the corner and then bring the corner back. And now they are paired up. Here's the same case, but the colors on the top are the same. The white is still facing towards the side. So what you're going to do is you're going to move the corner over the edge like this and then move the corner away from the edge and then bring the edge back up. Now they are paired up. This case has white facing upwards, but the colors in the side are different. What you're going to do for this one is you're going to move the corner over the edge again just like the last case and then you're going to move the top layer twice and then bring the edge back. Now they're paired up. Now this case has white facing up again, except the colors on the side are the same. For this case, you're going to move it away and then lift up this layer to put the corner in, and then you're going to move the edge over and then take out the corner on top of the edge, like that. Now they're paired up. The only case possible where the white is facing away from the case is this one. They are paired up, but the edge is flipped. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to solve this case according to the angle that you're holding it at. The first way is just to put the case in the back and separate them by hiding the corner and moving the edge over twice and then bringing the corner back like this. So if you have a case where you cannot put them in the back and just hide the corner, then there are a couple of different things you can do. If the pair in the back is not solved, then you can just move the corner down and then move the edge over twice like this. Then you can move the corner up twice to match it up with the edge and then insert it with only two moves because the cross edge is already partly up. Like that. If the pair in the back is solved, then you can do the exact same thing, just add a couple of moves to resolve the pair in the back. So we're going to start by doing the first couple of moves by bringing the corner down, edge over twice, and bringing the corner up twice to pair it up. And then you're going to start to put it in, but when you bring it down, you're going to bring it down twice so that you can insert this pair back into the back. Like that. That's pretty easy on the right side, but on the left side, it's a lot harder to do that same thing. So I do something a little bit different for the left side. What I like to do is a lot like this pair that we talked about. What I do is I move the pair out of the way and then move the side up just to insert the corner. And then I bring it down. Then I move the edge over, but instead of taking it out on top of the edge, I'm going to take it out away from the edge, like this, and then they're paired up. Okay. That's all the F2L tricks that I have for you right now. Subscribe and like if you haven't, and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video.